Hey, what's up? This is David Alex for Ideas to Creations, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the preset effects.xml file that you're going to need for uh, custom effects, pseudo effects, and this is going to be for stuff like I2C Transit, Interfere 2, and all those cool things. So, if you go to your computer, uh, OS, uh, Reserve, or whatever, C, and then go Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, CS5, Support Files, you'll find a file called presetEffects.xml. Now, this file holds information about uh, pseudo effects and such things, and usually when you get a, a, a our zip or RAR or whatever, um, it comes with this file as well as the animation presets and stuff. So, if you take the preset effects and uh, basically what you do is copy this file and place it somewhere convenient for you. So what I like to do is copy mine to the desktop, not move. Just make sure you copy it to the desktop. So if you hold control, that's going to copy it. And that's basically going to be your backup. And then if you go into the I2C presets file, give that a right click, copy it, and then come in here and paste it. Uh, you'll get some admin stuff you need to confirm so we'll just go with continue and then what happens now is that it gets pasted there now it's been pasted as copy which is not good so gonna right click and rename this or actually you can just delete this because there's a backup there give that a delete and then rename this to that name so what's gonna happen then is that uh, what you do is now you get your preset effect now if i open this in uh, let's see notepad usually opens this so go to notepad you can see it's just a bunch of code that's uh, really been applied and um, uh, if you go to a certain section uh, you'll find the controls like here's the transit controls all the definitions for stuff and that basically keeps us from having to use a bunch of sliders and a bunch of uh, rotations uh, controls as seen in interfere 1 which really got messy so in interfere 2 and in, uh, in future stuff there's your preset effects.xml. Strongly recommend that you back this up just in case you never know. And uh, but if you have any of, if you've ever installed this file from Ideas to Creations, um, just always copy a new one if you need to. Uh, it depends on the update that you're working with. Probably gonna notify you if you would need to change this. But uh, if not, um, you know you don't need to. So uh, that's how you work with preset effects.xml. Um, don't forget, stop by Ideas to Creations. A lot of presets to work with. There's lag, 3D, Fi, uh, Interfere, and uh, all those fancy stuff. So go ahead and check that out. But for this video, uh, that's it.